A La Nina weather pattern starts with cooler than normal sea surface temperatures in the Pacific Ocean along the equator. That alters the circulation of air in the atmosphere and generally results in cooler weather across most of the planet. The coldest year globally in each of the last seven decades were all La Nina years, except the 1990s. That's most likely because of the Mount Pinatubo volcanic eruption in 1991, which cooled the planet during the El Nino year of 1992. So far in the 2020s, there's only been La Ninas. This winter is under the influence of a rare third consecutive La Nina a pattern. 2022 is on pace to be a little warmer than last year, but not as warm as 2020. So for now, the La Nina of 2021 is the coldest year of the 2020s. But it's important to note that La Ninas are no match for human-caused climate change. Even the coldest years in each decade have still been getting warmer and warmer. It's even possible that the La Nina in 2020 prevented that year from being the warmest year in history. Instead, it tied 2016 for the top spot. Speaking of climate change, if the atmosphere is warming, how did the Pacific Ocean become cooler than average three years in a row? Well, it's not air temperature that cools the ocean. It's mainly caused by stronger than normal easterly winds. That stirs up the ocean and brings the colder water up from the deeper regions, a process called upwelling. Climate models are showing that those winds may soon start to diminish in strength, which means this string of La Ninas could come to an end sometime early in 2023. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. La Ninas usually have opposite impacts on the front range of Colorado compared to the rest of the globe because, you know, we're special. Uh, the warmest years are typically La Ninas, while the coldest years are El Ninos.